What is happening in the world? My name is Reagan. This is in 4K. Today is August 30th, 2021, and these are your past week's headlines. We'll begin with Kamala traveling to Vietnam and Singapore to rally allies against China. And in return, Iran, Russia, and China are holding naval military drills in their oceans in the next few months. It's brewing, guys. Tensions are a bit too high. And at first, to be honest, I liked Kamala because she was something a little different, but she's got a little too much sass for me, to be honest. Ex-governor of New York, Andrew Cuomo, says it's unfair on his way out. Hmm, maybe he should have thought about that before he groped dozens of women. Across the country, the Proud Boys met in Portland and clashed with other protesters. Also, more and more people under 20 are diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, up to 45% and type two nearly doubled. Too much sugar in our American diet. I reported this already, but the cost of a new house averaged around $400,000, which is up over 18% from a year ago. In celebrity news, Kanye West asked the court to change his name to Yee. And I'm over here thinking I should change my name to Re or Ray, but that's Star Wars, right? I don't wanna go there. You can now buy Bezos' $69 miniature dick rocket online. Yes, it's a working 166th replica of the Blue Origin's New Shepard rocket. Merry Christmas. More on inequality since the world is ending. Tim Cook was awarded $750 million worth of Apple shares for his 10 year anniversary. For more on this topic, Go back and watch my video, The Great Equalizer is Upon Us, and just reflect on that for a minute. China also says the US fudged the coronavirus report and doesn't have enough evidence, but is actually accusing China of starting the COVID-19 pandemic. More random news, an 88-year-old professor resigns mid-class when students refuse to wear a mask. Can you imagine that? This is the next slide. I quit. And these newlyweds sends a $240 bill to guests who were no-shows at their wedding. Now on to weather and nature. I do hope that this was the last heat wave because my goodness, it was scorching across the US and particularly my region. Also at the time of this filming, Hurricane Ida, which is 16 years to the day from Hurricane Katrina, is about to make landfall as a category four with top sustain of around 150 miles per hour and the devastation will be unimaginable and not completely tallied for days, months, probably years. Also considering some parts of Louisiana haven't even recovered from back-to-back -back hurricanes earlier this year already. But I'll tell you one thing, there are so many clueless people in this country that there are many who don't even know that a hurricane is even happening right now. Flash flooding in Tennessee kills 18 at least and fires continue to grow and spread in California and virtually every other part of the country because the planet is on fire. Okay, my friends, not a long report here, but it seems as though Afghanistan occupied most of our attention this past week. There was a bombing at the airport which killed several army members and, or were they Marines? Doesn't matter. Run! Go! Get to the chopper! And the chaos will continue over the next few days until we completely evacuate, thereby which Afghanistan will fall to complete Taliban rule as it already is and a humanitarian crisis will endure. Congratulations to the human race for getting it together in 2021. Thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe, go to my Patreon. I'd like to keep this channel going and this project to keep you informed week by week. Once again, my name is Reagan, and I'll catch you next week. Safe sailing.